everyone, my name is Gina and in this video I'm going to show you how you can save your GitHub username and password on a Mac so that you don't have to keep entering in every time you go to push to a GitHub repo. Now most of this is done automatically for you by a little tool in Mac called Keychain and I want to show you how that works and I also want to show you how you can do it manually with Keychain in case something isn't quite working right for you or you just want to know a little bit more about what's going on behind the scenes. All right, so first things first, uh, you'll need a little repo uh, that's connected to a GitHub repo in order to follow along. I have this small little PA1-Gsprint23 repo here from a previous video that I made. So let me head into that repo and just show you what's in it. I have two files. One is a source file, main.cpp, it just has a few C out statements in it, print statements. And then I have a.out, out, which is um, the compiled executable of this main.cpp right here. So if I run a git status, I'm gonna see that everything's up to date. What I need to do is make a change to this main.cpp file, just to force something different, some change that I can push up to GitHub. So I'm gonna head into main.cpp and let's say I just don't want this second C out statement anymore. I'll get rid of it. It's gone. Now I run git status and I do have a change here. Uh, Main.cpp is modified. All right, so I'm gonna add and commit and then try and push this change so that you can see that I'm gonna be prompted for my username and password. So let's do git add main.cpp. All right, so I'm gonna go to push and it's gonna prompt me for my username and password. All right, so it's prompting me for my username and password because I don't have a saved username and password in a little credential manager utility program called Keychain. So you can take a look at Keychain on your own Mac by going up to Searchlight or doing Command Spacebar, which um, brings up Searchlight, or excuse me, Spotlight Search, uh, where you can just type Keychain. So Command Spacebar and then type Keychain or just hit Spotlight Search and type Keychain. All right, so here's my Keychain. I've already searched for GitHub and you can see I don't have any GitHub username password pairs stored in Keychain. So that's why I'm being prompted here to enter in my username. All right, I'm gonna enter in my username, Gsprint23. You'll enter in your own username and then you'll enter in your password and it's okay if you don't see any characters being shown while you're typing, continue typing, it's still recording your password. All right, so it looks like I was successfully able to commit and push. So now if I head back over to Keychain, you can see that now I have an entry for github.com. If I double click on it, I'll see the name github.com, kind internet password, and the account, gsprit23, and the URL that this resolves to. If I want, I can click this button here, this checkbox to show my password but I don't need to do that. On this other tab under access control, we can see that uh, there is one program that is able to access this entry in Keychain and it is the Git Credential OSX Keychain program. Okay, so just take a little note of this because I'm gonna show you how you can manually set this up in case that didn't all happen automatically for you. All right, so let's close this. Leave this here for now. Let's make another change and see that we don't have to enter in our password anymore. I'm just making some change to this file. Nothing too important here. Adding another C out statement. Do an add, do a commit and then we'll try and do a push. Now I'm gonna do a push 
And because I have an entry in Keychain for https colon slash slash github.com, I don't have to enter in my username and password. It's awesome. Okay, now let's go through what's going on in the background a little bit for us so that if that didn't all work for you, hopefully we can set it up manually so that it does work for you. So I'm gonna go back to Keychain and I'm going to delete my entry for github.com. It is gone. If I try to uh, push a commit again now, I'm gonna be prompted for my username and password. All right, so let's add an entry to Keychain manually. So in the upper left-hand corner, there's this plus sign, create a new Keychain item. Go ahead and click that. And then for name, we'll put in https colon slash slash github.com. Account name, this will be your username for GitHub. And then for password, enter your GitHub username password. I'm gonna type that again, just because I'm nervous I typed it wrong. All right, hit add. Now this looks pretty similar to what we had before, but there is one key difference here. We haven't associated this entry in Keychain with that Git Credential OSX Keychain program that we saw the other entry had. Okay, that's what makes the link between what we're doing at command line with Git to this entry in Keychain. So let's double click this entry and under access control, we need to add an entry here for that credential manager for OSX Keychain and Git. So click the plus sign. I'll start at the very top so you can see where you can find your Git Credential OSX keychain on your machine. So first, this is a very fresh install of Catalina I'm running on my Mac. Uh, so this is definitely up to date uh, for where this Git Credential OSX keychain program is stored. You can always go over here to the search bar and type in git-credential-osx keychain to see where yours is on your machine. All right, so we'll start at your Macintosh hard drive. So this is your root directory. We're gonna go into library, developer, command line tools, user USR, lib exec, git core, and then in Git core, here's a bunch of Git programs. We'll scroll down uh, to Git dash credential dash OSX keychain right here. So click this little program right here. You can see it's a Unix executable and hit add. Click save changes, enter your password. Note that this is your Mac password, not your GitHub password. Hit allow, and we should be able to test out this uh, key value entry here for GitHub and Keychain and see if it works. All right, so once again, I'm gonna make one more change. Let's say I really don't like this C out statement I just added. It is gone. I'll save it, git add, git commit, and then we'll do a git push. Okay, so when we do git push now, we shouldn't have to enter in our username and password, and we do not. All right, so that was a manual setup of that keychain entry that we saw automatically in the first half of the video.